going to lie and say it's a pleasure. I'm not saying that we spotted you across the no, whole no, airport, right, mate. but right. we spotted you. Let's hold on. All right, guys. Quick gear check. I'm dressed oh, up like morning clothing. Right. How do you lot look so bright and fresh if you're not been to bed? Because we're young. I'm knackered, mate. Oh, Actually, I've done really well. I stayed two miles down the road. Job done. What's that? I stayed two miles down the road. Explain to Spencer what a bus is. Yeah. Spence, this is a bus. It's out. a bus, Spence. Yeah. Do you want the town or Hey. Got a few adverts here, Spence. Where's the BQ advert? Um, we're at the end, actually, Gab. Yeah, we shouldn't pay for the time. Be a good place to have a BQ advert, no? Yeah. Here's the big boy watches. It's like, it's like the Hollywood Walk of Fame for watches, isn't it? Market's changed, but have you ever been on a bus on a Spencer Dryer trip? Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I've <laughs> never been on a bus on a Spencer Dryer road trip. This is a new experience. Yeah. Hey, got go the, with the times. This is the level. The watch market is dead, floating in the pool in the backyard, as they say. And all Russ, of a sudden, Russ. when I went to Miami, it was limousines. Now I'm on a bus. <laughs> Russ, you've got to go with the market. No? You've got to go with the market. Not against it. How spacious is this? Paul, I'm sure you're sitting in the wrong seat. I'm, I'm sure you should be in the OAP seat. Never it's mind. It's down the front. Here it should be there in the basket. Spencer Dryer Tours makes us get the bus because he didn't want to do a taxi. The bus stopped because he couldn't get anywhere. We're now walking a mile to the hotel. A mile. A mile, look at him.
really good at that. What are we going to think about? Ready? Okay, ready? Okay, close your eyes. Ready, guys? One, two, three. <laughs> Pounds, euros, yen, dollars, euros. euros. Just checking. Let's have a look. Richard Mille. This is inspired by Ferrari competition. That was cool. That is an impressive place. So the right colors, uh, the sketches are always. Yeah, really Center nice. Center us. Nothing left, left to do. To your best place. <laughs> top, top stuff. Very good. Really, yeah, very, very yeah, good. really nice. Daytona. In the Le Mans colors. Yeah. The golf yeah. color of. Uh, yeah, golf. Uh, yeah. Steam yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, which was uh, like. The last What's London, okay. and uh, that was the Richmond group, <laughs> and then Jajero group, part of the Richmond group. Um, so, the I used the to and go for a pee. <laughs> Thank you.
So we're here at What Is and Wonders, just arrived 8.30 in the morning, actually 9.30 here. I think after a double early start, first impressions, huge, huge. Um, but just say, just arrived, really looking forward to it. Come here, the maestro's here. There I've lost him twice already. You all right, What's mate? Kaylee on champagne already. <laughs> That's and yeah, that, all good, all good. Yeah, let's just what's, find uh, out what, what, what you're looking forward to seeing most. Me? No, not you. Definitely not you. Just an unusual piece. You of haven't course. seen me for two Just, weeks. That's why I'm fine with it. Yeah. No, of course I was. I'm actually looking. You. I want to go. This. I want to see everything, and I want to see it up close. I don't know how up close we're going to be able to get. I don't think there's any. I think there's a lot of hands on here, is there? No, no, there is. There, there is? is? Absolutely. I want to get my hands on something. I've seen she's over there. <laughs> um, and you're going to cut that bit before you miss I'm going to cut that bit, yeah, yeah. It's just nice to see different things. Things that you wouldn't normally look. You see the Rolex, the Patek, the Aldermars all the time. Some of these different brands that you wouldn't necessarily think of, but a little bit different. Yeah. Something a bit different, yeah. yeah. There's plenty. There's plenty the first different. thing I walked in, I didn't expect to see. To be fair, was Raymond. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't expect to see and Raymond. Brimont Will. It was the first well. thing. Yeah. yeah. Surprising. There we go. Right. So, anyway, we'll coffee crack time. On. We'll get on with it, shall we? But we're going to start first with breakfast. Amazing. <laughs> if I wasn't, uh, uh, my wife wasn't better looking, I would have done you. Yeah. <laughs> when you said, were you Sorry. talking about me? Now? <laughs> were you talking about me? How are you doing? Oh, I love you. Oh, thank you, mate. You're all right. <laughs> Good to see you. Good you okay? to see you. I'm doing well. I'm glad I've gone home, to be honest. When did you get here? I got here earlier this week, and. Uh, yeah, I wanted to leave after the first day, to be honest. But you want to go home, <laughs> yeah? Many days you had the thing is, everyone here thinks they're, they're, they're saving lives, but I think they're forgetting that they're actually selling watches. Yeah, but yeah. It's, there's no passion on this place, but where there is so much passion, it's outside of this show. And I would actually argue to say, spend about five, ten minutes roam around here. This is just like the, the, the Dubai shopping mall, you'll see more than you see here, right? Go outside of Geneva, go to the independence, go I mean, to that's where you Bro, see. that's where you feel watchmaking. This is just a load of balls. This is in the in the hotel. This is a fucking disgrace to be honest. Nico, say never how it is. Words. Tell oh, me, uh, yeah. I wanna know what's your highlight here? Oh there is no highlight. My highlight is the exit. <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely. Like there's no highlight. These bra these are not these are just these are people that try Our appointment was thirty minutes. Yes, ago. let's oh, go. He's late, he? All right, but there's no there's no highlights here. No. This is shit. Yeah. I'm the highlight. I no, he is that. No, she's the highlight. <laughs> she Much better than me. Much better than me. I agree. I agree. But no, I I would argue to say that that yesterday I I had and, and I'm very very glad that Roman is here. He was going to leave. 
I was gonna he leave. He was gonna go. I was, yeah, I I was so angry. I was so angry because I was like, I care about this stuff. So I was quite emotional. I was like, if this is what we're talking about. We sat down, we sat down with Martin and Felix at Herbert. I, I mean, we sat down with, with Bidair. We sat, uh, we sat down with Max Gusa. We, we sat down with all these wonderful people. Yeah. David Just, Poulard, who is a, a genius watchmaker. All these people. Can you stand there for a second? I wasn't finished. And they're pleased <laughs> to see you. And they're actually pleased to see you. Don't worry, Nico. Right. So, the funny bit is I'm finishing my thought. But for me, I was like, Right, I really wanted to leave because like walking around here, it's just like it's just another fucking company that wants to take your money in exchange for a product that is identical to the, than the year before, and identical to the neighbors. I'm like, I mean, if, if you look at Rolex, right? If that is the best thing they could come up with, and after all the hard work they've done from all those highly paid people uh, that year, I mean, is that the best you can do? I like the yeah. pictures. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're 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 a wee bit of a chap, but like, I mean, what, what can we say? <laughs> I love you to bits, but I it's mean, only translated to, to English. I mean, I love you to bits. Translated in English it yeah, means I'm a train. <laughs> no, 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 no. What does that mean? You mean you're cheap? But the thing is, right? The thing is, oh, yeah. honestly, you expected more. No, I, I I knew well, that something was happening. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed, and well, I'm like, these are not watches. This is this is just an object of. The watches are outside of this place. They're at the independent halls. There's you see, you see the actual watchmakers. There's no actual watchmakers here. There's just people that work fucking. If actually people uh, put it together, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the same thing about Nardani. No, no, you and you and that's my like. I am involved with the company on the back end, not on the promotion end, right? And I was like, why are we buying watches again, right? It's like, why are we buying watches? Why are you come up? I wasn't. I didn't agree with their marketing campaign this year. Right? But this was already set a year ago, right? It was already set a year ago, so they couldn't change that. I'm like, now for next year, I can actually have an impact, right? Like, you're telling some bullshit story about sand, no man, who gives a fuck? Show your incredible watch you produced. Like, and he's like, you're right, and yeah, yeah, we are. Like, we want to have passion, we want to see the, the incredible product. We, wanna, yeah. we don't want bullshit marketing fucking gibberish, what the fuck? If I want to see that out True, random. True, yeah. And outside of this show, what was that place? Who the, the, whatever the fuck. Uh, at the hotel. What was that hotel I called? I don't speak Irish. Who speaks French here? <laughs> What's the name what of the hotel? What do you call hotel? No, Beau Rivage. Beau Rivage. Beau Rivage. Beau Rivage. Oh, mate, it is on every fucking level. There's watch people and watch people. Mate, the mate, actual watch mate, people. Mate, Shut up. Mate, mate, watch mate, mate, what, <laughs> that's where you want to be. Okay, so anyway, anyway. Uh, <laughs> what about the fact that we sat down with watches that were two, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand? I don't give a fuck about money. And then we sat down with guys that make thousand dollar watches, fifteen hundred dollar watches. And you see the passion from these guys saying, "Yeah, hey, I came up with this cool Just thing." And, oh, and, yeah, yeah. and and the guy barely rented a table that's about this size yeah. in a room. That's where you want to be. That's that's really what. That's you emotion. See. Now look, that's what I want on my wrist. Someone that has made that with passion, and that makes me that reminds me every morning that I need to fucking give it everything that, that today. You when did, I put that did, watch did, on I my wrist, say, that's my reminder. Fuck that bullshit. Look at Panagai, it's a fucking disgrace. If I see anyone wearing a Panagai, I will fucking So Nico, I'll take it. I will laugh at you. Can I ask? That's a disgrace. Panerai or Hublot? I don't, the, the standard no, hublot no, no, is better. No, no, no. The standard hublot is better, but like, I mean. Do I take it you've given so, up on ever becoming an AD for these? Oh yeah, no, I've already, I've uh, never, never. I, I, I cannot serve that to, to people. Why, why would I serve that to people? That's not passion, mate. That's fucking. Nico, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here, and I'm gonna say, look, as much as. Yeah, but you have products to sell. I don't give a fuck about selling products. <laughs> yes, you do. It has a difference. Yeah. No, I want to sell products, but I, I want to. Oh, that is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. What I'm saying is the problem, right? Is that I would do some of the stuff that Nico said, but also let's not lose sight of the fact that some of the history that's coming is going back over yeah. 100 years. Yeah. But the so history is not just because present. just because you're not fond of perhaps some of the product that you've seen this year or last year or the following year, you still can't discount the fact of what, how long these companies have been around, what they've done in the past, and perhaps what they can do to change their yeah, ways. But, uh, change uh, the listen, future. I was once skinny as well. I was <laughs> once skinny. I was I was once a footballer. Yeah, I mean, I can't be fucking, I can't be called up by, by the national team today. I can't even run five meters. That's the past. That's not the present. I Fuck off. I, I understand what you're saying, but don't, what I'm saying is that you can dislike the product, but you don't need to necessarily dog the entire company. 
You're not going to dog Vacheron. No. Oh, sorry. No. You just no, no, I agree. No, 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 no. I think Vacheron. Vacheron. Yeah. But can we just. Oh, yeah, amazing. Oh, what if they don't? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Another green dial. Jesus. The Groot watches. No, Patrimony. Not a fan. Not a fan. We are not speaking the truth. No one is saying that, oh, it's quite cool. Denim strap on a 5980. That's quite cool, you know? No. It's quite cool. I didn't think it was. Listen, I think it's cool. But I wanted a 57 12 and 1 gold. Yeah, but like, I mean, uh, yes. And I'll break it. But with a baby blue dog. We don't say. With my name in the back. That's, that would be good. That would, that would be good. <laughs> like, I do not. I see 90% of the people here not speaking the truth. And it fucking pisses me off. Right. So that's why I'm going home and I'm looking forward to that because I can spend time with my kids. Because I don't want to spend time yeah, with these people to here anyway. I don't have to babysit them anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Your behaviour is appalling, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> always has been, though. It's consistent, though, isn't it's it? Consistent. It's consistent. It's consistent. It's always been appalling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love but it. But no, look, it's fabulous here. Fabulous. We've had a good, uh, a good day this today. Is day one. Guys, just to give Water you... Cup. Hang on. It's 8 in the evening. We've been up since 3.30 this morning, and we're here. And the other thing, guys, don't forget, this guy... He's on the live stream, giving you information, feeding you stuff. You might not agree with everything, but he's giving you information about watches, crime, what's going on in the UK. Quite amazing, yeah? And remember, give him a thumbs up. You won't get this from the you, other channel, boys. Look, you, look, you, look at this. <laughs> go on, Russ. Russell, do Coffin, look. <laughs> you made me take me home in look the Look at the state of him, look. <laughs> Where it began, I can begin to know it. But then all is rolling strong. Was in the spring. And spring became the summer. You <laughs> have been a little bit of a long. What else have we got anyway? Hey! Everybody, come on! Touching hands! Yeah. Reaching out! Touching me! Touching you! Spencer, dry up, put your phone away! Sweet! Reaching out, Russell, come on, touching 
So uh, a little rundown of, uh, I nearly said Dubai Watch Week, I don't know why. Just bumped into someone that I met in Dubai and they're uh, inviting me up to uh, So a quick rundown, what did I make of Watches and Wonders 2024? I mean look, it's a great place to come for uh, a couple of days and have a little look round. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I don't know if you saw Nico's rant yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. how are we doing? Look, we bumped into 
Kaylee and Russell. Oi, we're, oi. We're actually we're not, right? we're not live. I'm just oh. doing a bit of a sum up. But uh, so, what, what did you make of it, Russ? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been very good. It's it not didn't feel as good as last year, but I, I think agree. that might be because. We were very excited, yeah. and we didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, all the buildings, like the the shrines, are all this quite similar, um, and um, it's all about dress watches this year. I feel like there's a lot of dress watches, and I'm, it's not what I'm massively into. But I mean, it's still huge. I mean, it's great to come along and see everything. I would say, you know, from your average watch person's perspective, it's a bit like. Look, don't touch. You know, you can see everything behind yeah. glass. Yeah. You can't get hands on with anything. It's um, no different, really. It's a bit impersonal, I would say. Yeah, I feel like there's a little bit less staff with the watches because you they almost force themselves on you. Come in, Katie, because you're looking you're looking super small there, like in the middle. There. <laughs> but, I mean, I was I was just thinking earlier on that actually, if you wanted to, you know, get a super duper day out and spend a load of money going to see a load of watches. I mean, somewhere like you buy more is, in some ways, is better because there's almost as big a selection and you can try it on. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure that if it's like the perfect watch people's weekend away, but it's interesting, right? I mean, it's different. Mm. I mean, you get some freebies like from places, but I guess it's everyone's personal preference, really. Freebies? I haven't seen any of them. Like the bags, yeah. like oh, they get oh. given it. But oh, you've got a queue. You've got a queue to get queue for all that. That's the other thing, the queuing is a, a real noise, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to have a little wander around, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Thank see you in a bit, boys. So uh, there's uh, Russ, the Mad Watch Collector, and uh, Kaylee from BQ Watches. Um, big shout out to Spencer, by the way, as well. He's been an absolute gentleman this weekend, and also to uh, Roman, who uh, took us out for dinner last night. Roman, if you see this, thank you so much, brother. Really appreciate your superb, superb hospitality and friendship, as always. Complete gentleman, one of the best venues in Geneva. Absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, if you've never been, would I recommend you come? If you can afford it, if you can afford it and it's, you know, not going to affect uh, your finances. I feel a sense of anti-climax because there's so much here that I would like to actually see, try on, put on my wrist, talk about, learn a bit more about. Um, but actually there's none of that. Um, it's a bit, excuse the analogy, right? It's a bit like going to a a lap dancing bar you can look but you can't touch if you get the if you get my drift and it's all behind glass as well so not exactly ideal for a lot of people um, and I think like speaking to a lot of guys that I've bumped into here over the weekend they pretty much feel the same but you got to remember this is I believe the first year that they've allowed the public in essentially this is a trade show um, and we should remember that. Trade shows are always going to be different, you know, to the public events where you can get hands on the goods. But um, it's been nice to see the new releases. What's impressed me most of all, I'd have to say that I think this year's Rolex releases, have, I think they've been really good. Some people have said the opposite. They think it's been really disappointing. I think long term, what they've bought in this year and what they've discontinued. I think it's a big year for Rolex. I think they've got it right. Um, Cartier, I think, have, have had a big year. Uh, Tudor, not so much, maybe. But I do think that the new uh, Coke GMT from Tudor is going to do well. Um, a lot of these brands, you know, you look around Chanel, Chopard, uh, Parmigiani, Hisec, Hublot, uh, you know, a lot of the brands that maybe aren't so big. To be honest with you, look, they bring out some lovely bits and pieces, but Spencer and I were saying earlier on, you go and buy one and then try and sell it somewhere down the line. Financially, you're going to take one hell of a hit. So you've got to be a little bit careful. If you, if you want to be in the niche brand game, then be very careful. Be aware of where that's going to lead you 
down the line um, and financially it's not going to lead you into a good place. I um, was impressed with Bell and Ross yesterday. Um, I think you saw that we got to speak with the son uh, of one of the owners of Bell and Ross, very nice gentleman. Um, we bumped into uh, John claude Beaver last night in the restaurant where we ate with Roman. That was nice. Um, who the season are down? They're making big moves this year, I think. They got big plans. That's one to keep an eye out. But yeah, I mean, it's been uh, a nice weekend. I've enjoyed it. It's always good to get away um, and have a bit of a laugh and a joke with Spencer. Russell's been a, a class act. He's a funny guy. It doesn't have quite the same community feel that, you know, when we put shows on and when we have uh, we have little do's and events, like the one coming up in June, that's more personal. That's a bit, a little bit more friendly, less formal. Um, I wouldn't say there's like loads of snobbery here, but there's enough for me. There's more than enough snobbery on offer. But that's what it's all about, right? Let's be honest. That's what it's all about. You know, that's how the Swiss brands work. Had a quick look around the town centre this morning. Everything is shut on a Sunday. But what is amazing is what is really amazing and what really hits home to you when you come to a place like Geneva is how much safer the place is uh, than, than London. Um, and obviously other cities around the world as well. I mean. You go past the Rolex authorised dealer, all the watches, they're closed, and all the watches are still in the window. No shutters, no bars, nothing. I mean, how long would that last in many cities around the world, London included? Um, and most of the shops actually don't take their stock out of the window, which I find really surprising. So as you know, I've done uh, two or three lives whilst I was out here. Hope you enjoyed those. Uh, I'm not sure which channel I'm gonna put this on yet, whether I'll put it on my big channel or the what is only smaller channel that I've recently set up. Whichever one, please make sure you subscribe and all that stuff. I think a lot of people right now are starting to look and fall in love with some of the smaller micro brands that offer you know nice value for money and uh, you know less risk let's be honest do I still want that uh, gold deep sea well I've got to say it is a beaut probably in the flesh, well, I've only seen it from behind glass. I mean, do I want it as much as before I've seen it in the flesh? You know, in the pictures, I would say it probably looks a little bit better, in all honesty. I'd still prefer the Deep Sea Challenge if I could ever get one, but I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, I've got the urge for a gold Rolex again. Maybe it might be a Submariner. We'll see. What were you thinking of? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. So Spence, did you enjoy it? You had a good weekend? Yeah, really good. Yeah, was it Very nice good. being away with your old mate for a couple of days? Yeah, Gav, I had a lovely time. <laughs> <laughs> you were non-existent. Um, Russell was good fun. Yeah, yeah. it's good. So next That's time you'll leave me behind, will you? Absolutely. But if you leave me behind, who's going to introduce you into, to all the important people? Well, do you know something? I think you're behind. I think 70 30 in favour of me this yeah. time. Yeah. When you when you people did, said Paul thought who? Did you dream that last night when you was in bed? <laughs> having your over Spencer overslept last night. Well I'll try not to come back from America the day before that yeah. didn't help. Bit but no, it was good. Looking it was good. forward to getting home? Absolutely. What's next on the agenda then? What are we up to next? I don't know, I have to see. Maybe a nice ride out. What do you reckon? That sounds good to me. I fancy that. And the weather's yeah. turning as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll yep. do that.
Maybe next weekend or something, see what we can do. Sounds good. All right, over and out, I'm going for a sleep.